Well, it's been about 30 days since I planted my radishes uh, in my Alders Magnolia box garden. And they're starting to crowd my cantaloupes and my other melons. I came out here about five days ago and pulled one and it wasn't quite ready, but I think I've got to pull them today no matter what because I've got to put some cages on the melons. Those are more important to me than the radishes. But I'm going to pick these radishes and because they're kind of crowding out the melons and we'll see what we get. So here we go. Well, oh, that's not a bad looking radish. 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 Eh, that one's a little bit on the tiny side. Doesn't quite have the color. Eh, fail. Another fail. Another fail. <laughs> That's where I planted two seeds together. That didn't do well. <sighs> yeah, teeny tiny. <sighs> There's another one where two seeds were together. Another fail. Look at that cantaloupe starting to come along. Ah, there's not a bad looking radish. Teeny tiny. I'll be able to pop that one in my mouth. Teeny tiny. That's not a bad looking radish. Teeny tiny, but still not a bad looking radish. Not a bad looking radish. Fail. Teeny tiny. Teeny tiny. Ah, that's not a bad looking radish. 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 And teeny tiny. So, I don't know why some of them did better than others. Um, could be they were too close to the wood, uh, my inexperience as a gardener. But I got some in here that are edible. I'm going to share them with uh, someone here that likes radishes. So now we're going to work on these uh, cantaloupes and melons and I'm going to get some cage, uh, cages for these right now and uh, I'll be back with you guys in a little bit. Okay guys. So I put some cages in my melon box excuse me I thought I would have to sneeze these are cantaloupes and then those back there are 
few more cantaloupes and some watermelon. So I pulled out all the uh, all of the uh, radishes. I'm going to show you those when I get them upstairs and clean them up. I got a few, a few nice ones, a few fails, and uh, come over here and take a quick look at my uh, onions, peppers, and peas. Look at those mushrooms. Those are kind of disgusting. I don't know what's going on with this box. Um, but the onions are coming along. Uh, the peppers are coming along. That's a gypsy pepper and a ghost pepper. And those are jalapenos and those are jalapenos. I don't know about those. But uh, here this probably Sunday a few days from now I'm gonna come and pick some of these peas I don't know if you can see these if my camera's getting them but five pea, six peas on this plant this one's going here's a pea and it's topped my cage so and there's a pea coming out there so I don't know if this will kind of like hang down at some point. I, there's no way I can make it taller in there. There's there's another nice little pea coming in. So I'll be picking some peas this weekend and uh, coming up with some kind of a stir fry video uh, for those. Uh, I guess overall, and I got some peas on my balcony I'll show you those at the end of this video too so I'll see you guys in a little bit oh wait wait here's my wife's box look at that nice tomato coming in I don't know if you can see that I think that's a beefy boy um, but overall I'd say her tomato plant looks pretty healthy so I'm looking forward to see what happens there she, of course this is for Grace she passed away and had this box before we did so great I'll be back with you guys in a little bit